Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Better Than Napoleon in Europe Universalis 4. Our integration of Brittany is going quite well. Shaping up to be done in about two years. <clears throat> That'll give us six more provinces, taking us up to a total of... 36. And they're good provinces, too. Um, so that's going to be nice. But then also, um, I noticed that Bartholome, Bar Bar Bartholome, Bartholome, I rolled another 9. Unfortunately, it was the fire phase. Hopefully, he rolls equally well in the next phase. We shall see. Uh, this guy is reinforcing through Burgund... through there. So that's maybe not so good. We can be... down to there by the 10th. I think we're going to have to do that. We've got two armies that need reinforcements. This guy could use another 5. You know what we'll probably do is, let's go here, and then on the 3rd, which is in two days, we're going to go one day, two days. We're going to actually break off 5 infantry. Well, hold on, what's the balance here? We're just going to do like a selective, like a miniature reinforce, just to get the front line equal. Rule of three, uh, not the best. And this, fa this fight's going to go kind of crappy for a couple days. Actually, not even that bad. Well, tenth versus the seventh. It's three days of combat. How are we doing here, bud? Bartholomew. You should roll well, man. I think we will send, like, two more infantry over that way, just to help out. He rolled a nine. It's fire phase, though. Nice four versus his negative one. We should see some good numbers on our side. You know, 81 and 400-something for him. I wish there was a way you could, like, see, like, just like a, you know, like, the last five daily troop deaths. Like, the, the flashing number is too fast, and if you got multiple, um, multiple of them on the screen, you can't really analyze each battle. Um, you know, they move so quick. That nine stack of reinforcements, not good. Nice five in the shock, good job. Looks like we're winning against Milan pretty handily. They've started to rout. This reinforcement should be totally handleable. It's, they just reinforced with 9,000, but none of them can do anything. There's no cannons yet. Nine in the shock phase. Damn, are we rolling well today. This is the, the type of rolls that you want to see, like, every time you play. Like, nine, nine, nine. Just over and over again. You're gonna go kill that guy now. Seven. <laughs> it's so good! Hey, Milan, I feel like you should probably leave the war soon, by the way. So, I wonder if, um, yeah, we'll just let the fight continue. We could, we could intentionally lose the fight and then try to stack wipe it, which would be quite nice, but. I'd rather just take the three war score. And again, uh, we are actually finally down to no manpower. I imagine if we're down to no manpower, Burgundy probably has no manpower. Yeah, 3,000. He's already got one Merc. But our, our manpower recovery is 641. We might be able to squeak by. Um, shoot, did I just give up my siege progress? I did. Shoot. Well, let's leave. It's fine, we can resume that siege again later. Barthol me. Can you get back to our own territory before the end of the month? Nope. Alright, just stay here then. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, cool. And again, Flanders is going to go to that one stupid province that I can't get to. Hey, Milan. 
I feel like you should probably want to leave the war. Ally in war, length of war, war exhaustion. I mean, about the only thing I could really do to him is just throw a bunch of sieges in, get some occupied and besieged prov provinces, and maybe we could do it. We could also move into the mountains. If we're going to siege something, sieging those might be quite good. Let's get started on that siege again. Squish. Royal marriage offer from Castile? I think not. Uh, we'll squish that army on the second. Probably begin the Siege of Nevers as well. And then we'll just kind of have a little triangle right here. It's all in the plains. So that's not good. But we seem to be doing alright uh, with our combat in, in the plains. It's not been that bad. Another army coming up on the 7th of September. We'll squish that. Like that should be fine. We'll try to take Charolais. I think we do still have some time. Aragon just lost a war. It's kind of sad. October 5th. I feel like I need the ability to scout a little bit better. Now this is hills. I suppose we'll move in here. I mean that's a knight. I'd love to kill that knight. Let's go here. Squishing a knight sounds glorious. So, Aragon loses their war against Tunis, and then immediately rivals them. Now they're dealing with peasants. How much do you want to bet uh, Castile attacks him? Also, I should probably improve relations with you. How are we doing on the, uh, the thing? Still 25% chance. 15 papal influence next time for the next investment. I hate you, Flanders. Guy's coming out on the 5th of October. We'll wait until the end of this month. And then we'll go for our squish. You know what? I bet if you timed it perfectly, if your siege phases are less than a month, you could actually take provinces with zero attrition. That's interesting. Alright, we'll park the whole army in Charolais now, so we get some loot while these two are going, and, uh... Was, are you the siege guy? No, where's the other siege guy? That would be you. We'll swap in the maneuver guy, so we can hopefully catch that. 23rd, 23rd. He'll probably be able to catch him in Baroy. We'll grab the other siege guy and put him over there. So only 28 war score. If I remember correctly, I haven't looked at it in a while, but I think each the, the break points are 25, so 25, 50, and 75. So being above 25 is pretty awesome. And this is, of course, with him having a massive plus 10 from me ignoring Picardy, which I will continue to ignore forever. Looks like Flanders is ready for another round. He'll go... Okay, we can engage him there. It's going to be in the forest, but... We want to use our shock guy. 
And ideally, we don't want to have to fight Milan without a good general as well. I guess we can use the 3 2. He's going to move into Lyonnais. And then from there, what? 10 regiments. Same thing as before. We'll do 8 infantry. And all the cav. Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's our 1 1. December 3rd, December 2nd, December 3rd. We've got zero maneuver. He's got two zeros. I believe he'll take the river crossing. We're going to reinforce on the same day, on the 3rd and on the 3rd. Should be fine. We'll see. And here we're intentionally letting our cav fight the cav. So we can flank like crazy. Nice nine in the shock face, Francois. We're out of manpower, so it's time to start consolidating. Yep, there's the river crossing. Cool. Now, the Milan reinforcement is going to be bad. But, he's already got a full front row, so the Milan reinforcement doesn't really do much. And we rolled another 9 in the shock phase, my gosh. I don't think I've been this lucky in a very, very long time. 7, 4. Hey, I'll take a 4 every time if it's actually a 6 versus a negative 1. I mean, good lord. 88 to 880. Look at this. It's nuts. Followed it, <laughs> follows it up with an 8. Oh, oh! He's actually retreating to where I can get him. Can't be there before the end of the month, but we can definitely probably stack wipe that. Definitely, probably. Yeah, you heard me. Alright, we, um... We're gonna suffer attrition here no matter what. We're going to consolidate the infantry. I don't want to consolidate the cav. I would rather reinforce cav. Alright. Well, that worked out. So that 1% attrition on, you know, all these all these stacks is kind of crap, but... There was no way to avoid it anyway. Like, I could have... Could have broken the siege, but I think we already had some progress, and I didn't want to give up the progress, so... Alright. Another example where I could have manually deployed and we could have actually had this guy line up a little bit better. Have a better chance of stack wiping instantly. Well, not instantly, but that's eh, not bad. 200 infantry is more than acceptable. I think we've just about reached the breaking point. How did you get out? Fast little bastard. Thirty first, first. Yeah, we're gonna keep on trying to get him. Fifth and seventh. Ah, we'll try it. We might be able to catch one. Yay, we got him. These looks like some, some desperation mercs now. I wonder how much war score I actually have from all these little tiny... <laughs> these little stack wipes. We have 35 war score from battle, so I'd say we have quite a bit. Twenty fifth, twenty fourth, squish. All 
Alright, come on, Milan. You should just want to go away. March 18th. Gonna continue to just take take our time with this war. How long has this war been going on? Since seventy three. It's been three years now. Not fast enough, Burgundy. It's like he's still trying to train out of Burgundy. Out of sorry, out of Picardy. This province is probably yep, almost fully looted. 10th, 8th, just go that way. So, um, we'll gain a ton of war score as soon as Milan pieces out. And again, I'm hoping we can just completely avoid the ticking, the, uh, what do you call it? Call for peace by ignoring the war goal. So, um, I think we'll take the powerful local noble. That army actually has insufficient support. So we don't want that fight to happen. So we can get more men there. Yet he's coming for it. Well, he, he was about to. Leone, Hills. We don't want to be the aggressor. Cannot really afford to... Keep this huge army parked here. He'll be there on the 14th. He'll be there on the 16th. Let's wait two days. One, two. We'll be there on the 16th, same day as him. 19 on 16. Sounds fine. Insufficient support here needs to back off. We'll come back to Nevers. He reinforces. We reinforce from Nevers. Oh my god, did we just roll another 9? Jesus, Barthelme. Okay, that's it. Uh, we have to do this. What's his name? <laughs> Good lord. Bar- I don't know how to do that E. Damn it. This is now the province of Barthelme. Barthelme. B-A-R-T-H-E-L-E-M-Y. Oh, famous man. What's this second name for? Why is there... Is that like the name of the province, name of the city? We'll name the city after him. Uh, Estres. Bartholomew Estres. There you go. Good job, sir. You've earned your place in history. As like the best roller in the world. Jesus. Seven, seven, eight, nine. Just... Anything else, boss? What else do you need? Just tell me. Okay, um, why don't we throw a few more cab at it? Combat width is going to be... Well, we already have 19 troops. We have 20 troops here. I don't think our combat width is even that big. We have, we have 9 here. 9 plus the default of 15 is 24. Okay, yeah, extra cab will help out. Kind of. Can't really deploy properly. Francoise, why are you in charge? What the hell happened to Barthelme? No. No. We need Barthelme. Bring him back. Barthelme. I should probably learn how to pronounce his name. Is he, even gonna, he didn't even take over. You're going to let Francois do it? That's crap. And Swa's a loser, and you shouldn't let him do that. Hmm. Well, we're going to suffer attrition on all these armies no matter what. Oh well. Okay, 
Okay, Bartholomew, you get to stay and do your siege. Okay, just please win your siege. If we could finally take his capital. Then we'll go focus on Milan and piece Milan out. There are armies up this way that still need attention. One of these days... There we go. One of these days we're going to see that... Uh, we're going to need an inheritance event fire. We're going to be so happy. Squeesh, squeesh, squeesh. Squeesh number one. 30th, 29th. Followed up by movement over there. I should go ahead and leave behind one guy to get that province back. Another squeesh over there. Eighth. Into Rethel, but this army's coming through Rethel, so that'll be fine don't have enough troops to actually do that siege because we are completely out of manpower. We have 300 ducats, so I could I could do some, some mercs. Amazing that even though we have 77,000 manpower cap and 638 per month, we still don't have a lot of manpower. It's nuts, isn't it? This seems like a better way to sort, to know which provinces you want to upgrade. Assuming that, I mean, I can't, I still can't believe they got rid of the ability to do, uh, to do building from the ledger. So we got nine base stacks here. So pretty clearly then the temple here would be the best, right? Out of like all the available provinces. 0.3 ducats. Yeah. So if we're going to build anything. Yeah, we should use the ledger to do it. And you have a lot of land to upgrade. It's slower than it used to be, being able to do the uh, building from the ledger, but it'll work. Okay, I think we have one more fight from Milan. We've got the capital of Burgundy. Take this. Let's go prepare to... Uh, Go after Milan's enthusiasm. We'll siege down his forts, do occupied and besieged provinces. I think we only will probably need a single Milanese fort to knock him out. And then we'll jump, we'll automatically go up to tons of war score that way. More than enough. Okay, moving to Dauphine on the 19th. We can be there on the 21st. That's with our high maneuver guy, so can't really get to the mountains in time. We'll just kind of sit down here for now. Could move into these mountains. Hmm. It does feel like we are starting to have too much cav. Because of the lack of infantry reinforcement and the consolidation that I've done. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll uh, see you again in the next video where hopefully we will actually get the Burgundian inheritance to fire. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.